Good morning, muckbangers of America. It is Saturday morning, the 2nd of May, and it is time to officially taste out our pineapple carrot cake, courtesy of the wonderful Bella Rose, the Queen of Buffalo. And thank you so much for a amazing recipe. I will show you the uh, cake. It turned out wonderfully. It's a fully loaded cake. There's nothing fine about this, meaning, I mean, it tastes incredible. I had some last night, but it's it's a chewing delight here. It has pineapple in it. It has uh, pecans in it. It has three cups of uh, roughly uh, chopped and shredded up uh, carrots. You can see see the carrot bits in there. And I think that's what makes it so distinctive. It's a cake that has tooth to it. One other thing I'll mention too, I did not have any confectioner's sugar, nor did the store have any on the shelf yesterday. So for the first time ever, I made my own. I took a cup of regular granulated sugar, put it into a processor with a tablespoon of uh, cornstarch and pulse that together. And I did that four times to equal four cups of um, uh, confectioner's. Uh, sugar it it turned out to be amazing. I could have probably used just uh, two cups of finished frosting. I did frost all the sides of the cake. I had a lot left over, which was uh, which was wasteful. And combined with the uh, uh, block of uh, Philly cream cheese and a half a cup of butter softened, it made an incredible icing. What was really distinctive about it was it had a little bit of the granularity of the sugar. Now you might say, well, an icing's not supposed to have that. Well, it was a real, it was, it was a real epiphany for me to have that with a little bit of, uh, you can still feel the grains of uh, some of the sugars in there. And to me, it made an amazing mouthfeel for it. So the whole thing was an explosion in my mouth. How do I know? Because I cheated and I had a piece of last night. So let's go ahead and try this. And, uh, well, you can see the see the bit of carrot dangling off there. Mm. You get the cinnamon. You get the brown sugar with that. You get the uh, pecans, which I think was a good choice of nut. You can use walnuts, hazelnuts, just about anything. Unreal good, moist. Mm. What makes this unique is adding her her recipe adds about um, uh, eight ounces of crushed pineapple drained and squeezed really well to get a lot of the moisture out. Folding that into the batter makes a tremendous amount of difference in keeping the cake uh, moist. It is a total. Total winner and keeper. If you would like to try this at home, I'm going to put the link that she was kind enough to give to give me in the description box down below. This is like This is like a fiesta in your mouth. That's the only thing I'm coming up to Cinco de Mayo. It's like a festival in your mouth. That's all I can think. The carrots, the pineapple, the nuts, the brown sugar, the nutmeg in here. But none of them is overpowering. It's a perfectly balanced, beautifully balanced uh, cake. A nice big piece of pecan there. Mm, mm, mm. And the icing, as I said, it's a it's a world class. It's a different kind. It's more of a I would call that a more let's call it country style icing. It's not city whipped into something light, and I mean it's really got some amplitude to it, which I like. And. Uh, Carrot cake has to have a certain feel to it. You have to, you have to know you're not eating a regular fine crumb cake. You have to know that you're 
eating, I don't know, a garden or an orchard in one slice of, closest thing I can think of is uh, fruitcake, but this is a lot better than fruitcake, right? Mmm. What a treat. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this piece. Gotta get every, gotta get every little bit. Mmm. So yeah, I want to thank you again, Bella Rose, for the wonderful recipe. Do add pineapples. Do add crushed pineapple to your carrot cake. You won't really taste the pineapple, but you'll know the moisture and you'll get the subtlety of a little bit of a tropical flavor. I also made this in a uh, spring form pan, which was good, so I could put icing on all the sides as well as the top. This would be a winner. Blue ribbon all the way. What a mukbang. Mm. Mm. Oh, don't it make my blue eyes blue. <laughs> Everybody, thanks so much for watching the uh, Saturday morning mukbang doing the Bella Rose pineapple carrot cake. Your thumbs up are appreciated, and uh, thanks for being along, everybody. Check the description box for the recipe link. Ooh.